So there's so much action that we can all take ourselves in our own gardens. And I said the very, very first thing to do is to stop using pesticides. If you're someone who uses pesticides, stop using them, um, find alternatives. Um, and secondly, there's so much we can do in our gardens in the way of planting. And it, I mean, there are sites and books, internet sites and, and, and books that tell you what to plant, but instead of looking for lists of plants, this is, people are always saying, what flower can I plant? Instead, if you start to think, um, how can I make sure that I'm planting these flowers throughout the year so that I'm providing nectar and pollen rich plants for bees from February through till October, um, and to plant a variety of different plants, so have bells and tubes and, and sort of cups and, and flat flowers, all of these different flowers. Don't forget trees and shrubs, although trees are not pollinated by bees, they are incredibly important nectar and pollen sources for bees. Um, if, if you are looking at individual flowers, plant something blue. Bees see in ultraviolet, not infrared, so, so they're more likely to, to come and visit all of the Mediterranean herbs. Um, if you wanted to plant, this is for me, caviar and champagne for bees, you'd, you'd give them borage and vipers bugloss. They, they are so good for bees. Um, Phacelia is another one because it flowers from May through to September and it, it's just great for a number of different insects. And be an untidy gardener maybe, you know, be a little bit less fussy about having short back and sides uh, people, people's lawns sometimes look as if they've been hoovered. Right. <laughs> you know, they're stripy hoovered lawns. Yeah, if you just allow them, right instead of cutting them that short, just take them that little bit longer, and then you'll encourage all of the things like the clovers and the vetchers, which are really, really high in nutrients for bees. So, uh, I mean, there are websites. There's my favourite website is a website called Foxleys, F O X. L-E-A-S, and this is a guy called Mark Carlton who lives in Chepstow, and what he doesn't know about planting for bees and other pollinators is really not worth knowing, and it's from personal experience, so he hasn't just downloaded a list right. of plants for bees. 